Okay, here we are at 7209 7209-4 Todami. Our old house. You guys can't believe what's uh how it's the house looks the same. Look at what they've done with the front yard. They don't even do anything and all these weeds are just growing. They don't take care of it. The whole front yard is all a mess. Kind of a shame. Doesn't actually look that bad, but of course it would look better with uh it would look better with the grass there. See, that thing got huge. It's all the way up through the window right there. And uh, that one is Owarimashita. But these, these things that I always used to trim, they're growing out over the front door. You got all these weeds growing here. It's such a shame. Anyway, you remember Takakun, who lived down next door. He's still taking care of stuff. But look behind. Um, I think you guys can see there used to be all that brush and all that stuff back there. So... I don't know which is better or worse. I mean, before, I'm going to walk you back behind our house, but um, before, uh, there was that barrier there, so we um, had a little blockage um, around the houses by our, behind us, but now there's just wide open space. I don't know. I think I preferred it the way it was before, quite frankly. Still got the shed, as you can see. And all of the weeds back here in the grass. Not as bad over here as it is in the front, but boy, they're not doing a very good job taking care of it. So all this behind our house has been cleared out. All that where all that brush was. You can see old Shige-san. He put a. I don't think he had that blue roof before. I can't remember. But um, there's Boris's place. Um, Shige-san's grass doesn't look too sweet either. He's got all these all these fancy trees that he put in all look grim like they're dying. Um, and then uh, he hadn't taken great care of his yard either. So, I mean, he was trying there for so long, right? Uh, I just saw Kuroda's on, Mr. Kuroda. He didn't really have much to say, but I talked to him for a little bit. And here's this crazy huge... I, I thought it He says it's just a jutaku. Uh, it's just a one house. But uh, I thought it was... Uh, definitely uh, like some sort of apartment building or something. I mean, the place is humongous. So, that's what we got. I know we never got to know the people too well that lived in this house over here, but they finally put something up there. And, oh yeah, so here's the um, here's the parking lot over here. I'm just going to walk out to the edge of the neighborhood. So you remember they were working on this when we were leaving. Kids may not remember, but mommy probably remembers. Um... So there's this parking lot over here that they charge 500 yen to park in, whether you uh, stay at the pension or not. Uh, so I'm just going to walk over here a little bit. Oh my God, someone like it all. But you're getting a good look. This is the other side. All that stuff was cut down. Like I said, I think it was better with the... That stuff made me allergic, but I think it was better to have it uh, uh, blocked off. So this is the parking lot right here. Uh, that they put in. It fits a lot of cars and they can charge 500 yen per car. I guess it's good because um, people do want to park there because there's nowhere to park down here in Tarami. And there, I'm going to zoom in if I can. That's the pension over there. Do you guys remember that? It used to be called Toto Pension. It's now called Third Place. And uh, yeah, it was a nice place to stay. 50 bucks. Easy. And down there, not much has changed. There is, uh, that they're still using that as a gravel pit down there. I want to do some other stuff for you, so I'm going to continue on the video in a little bit. Here's the new Kanya, which we've only been in like once or twice, because we got to know about the owners. Uh, I was thinking of going there last night, but I just didn't want to. But this is the old Kanya here. Uh, basically looks the same, but it's all painted in green. I don't know if those guys still live over there, or if they live somewhere in the restaurant and and uh, still in this place but all painted green looks really nice so I'm gonna keep the the video rolling for a little bit most the bicycle wipe out but look up here as I go through and you can see like if trimmed all the trees. They cut down all the trees in here for all these trees that used to be kind of in here. Most of them, the trees have been cut down and it's just brush. This is going to be bumpy because I'm riding a bicycle as I go along. 
but if you remember this pathway where we used to walk or ride the bicycle, usually ride the bicycle, but sometimes um, doing the uh, riding the bicycle, I just gotta watch out, this guy, or ride the bicycle or walk down to the beach. We used to walk down through this path, and you can see over here they've cut down all the trees, and this is all a wide open, wide open space now. So. reason was for that I always thought that the reason for all those trees was a breakwater in case they got tsunami but uh, hmm, they took them all down so right here is the path that we just came from that I rode down the path like right by our house if you remember we used to be able to ride right up to the to that walkway the malecon or whatever you want to call it they've built this berm here this so this is supposed to break the water I guess they built this berm and there's steps built into this, so you come up the steps to get to the ocean, and there it is, and there's, ooh, Condemas, see how so crowded the surf is out there, really crowded, that would be annoying, um, but you remember, now here's where the walkway was, we could walk, we could ride our bicycles all the way up there, and all the way down here, and that's all been been uh, caked over in sand. So that walkway where we used to ride the bicycles, all the way up the line there, that's all been taken away. So I am saying that this place has gotten worse since we left. I, I mean, I still love it out here, but um, it's uh, definitely I would miss that rideway. We used to ride that. I used to ride that with the kid. Well, mommy and I did too, but. I used to ride with that all the time with you kids. So that's it. I might get a little more video later, but I wanted to show you um, all the stuff that changed around here.